Hello, I just wanted to let you in on what we're doing here at Willard, our Mask Up Hoosiers project. You come in, fill out a sign that lets us know who you wear your mask for, and we'll put it up on the wall and take a picture and put you on our Facebook. So come in and let us know. Hi, my name's Rhonda Mort, and I'm the Children's Librarian at Willard Library, and I'm here to explain to you what a special program that we have for the kids. And what this is, is we have little books that we're putting together and the thing about these books is there are no illustrations and no text. So we want you to take these books home and fill them out with your own illustrations and your own text and bring them back. And then we will barcode them and we can put them on our shelves so that other people can read your stories. Thank you. All right, I have two books that I'm going to read today. The first one is called Hot Chocolate, no, Warm Chocolate and it was written by Eve Coberly, and she also illustrated the book as well. The second book I have is also by an author who illustrated her book, and that is Lindsay Ward, and this is called Don't Forget Dexter. All right, class, Miss Peacock said, let's talk about holiday treats. Tell me your favorite winter goodie, the one that you love to eat. Sally Jones squirmed in her seat and yelled, I love gingerbread. Then Michael Smith said in a soft whisper, I like fruitcake instead. Next, Sidney Clark screamed from the back, a souffle with lemon zest. Then Wyatt McFinn said with a big grin, cherry pie is the very best. Can I go next, Marvin Peters asked, waving up his hand very high. All right, Marvin, Mrs. Peacock said, tell us what you'd like to try. Marvin stood tall by his desk and holding a large stack of papers. He was ready to share his sweet treat, the one that he most favors. There is something that I really love that tastes so very dreamy. It's something rich and smooth and oh, so very creamy. It's a chocolate drink that you can lift up high like a rocket. You know, it's by, by its hot steamy name hot chocolate, but I call it sweet warm chocolate. I've changed its name to warm because it's best when it's not too hot. Chocolate math, too hot plus chocolate equals me unhappy. Warm plus chocolate equals me happy. Here are a few examples of how warm chocolate hits the spot. Warm chocolate makes me merry. Too hot chocolate makes me loopy. Warm chocolate keeps my marshmallows round, and too hot turns them goopy. Warm chocolate helps me cheer for my favorite hockey team. Too hot turns my chants into loud, painful screams. Ah! Warm chocolate calms me down after playing in the snow. Too hot chocolate sends me jumping around, wiggling my fingers and toes. Warm chocolate smooths, soothes my hands while I look for a at the colorful lights and too hot chocolate sizzles my frozen fingers creating a dreadful sight. I know these reasons are, since are simple but the next few play a bigger part because they show just how this delightful brew can help warm the human heart. Warm chocolate can help an old man smile on a cold dark winter night. Thanks for the warm chocolate Granny Wilburn you betcha. Warm chocolate can help a teenage boy hug his dear granny really tight. Warm chocolate can say sorry when the words aren't quite enough. Warm chocolate can help a daddy laugh when his day has been a little rough. What I love most about warm can be summed up here at, at the very end. Number one reason, warm is what my heart feels when I share this drink with all of my friends. So this winter break, before you chug that classic chocolate drink, take one minute to cool off and another one to think about the good things in your life that make it so very sweet, like your mom's light bedtime kiss and your dad's top secret treat. And once your chocolate's warm, lift it high and give a wink and toast to your loved ones and to warm chocolate, that wonderful drink. Good luck. Warm chocolate recipe. Two tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder, one pinch of salt, 
one pinch of cinnamon that's optional. Optional. One milk, cup of milk, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Add more if you want it sweeter. Marshmallows are optional. The end. Okay. Don't forget Dexter by Lindsay Ward. Hello. Is anyone there? Oh, hi, I'm Dexter. Dexter T. Rexter. Can you help me? I'm looking for my best friend, Jack. We came here together for a checkup. We were coloring and then I looked up and... Jack was gone. It's been a really long time, like forever. Maybe you've seen him. I know, I'll make you a picture. My friend, Jack. How can you not remember him? He was just here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shout. Please don't go. Hey, you think this guy saw him? Excuse me, hello, Mr. Fish, have you seen my best friend Jack? I know, I'll ask this lady up there. I'll bet she knows where Jack is. Hello, Mrs. Lady, can you help me? I know, I'll sing her song. Then Jack will come back and find me. Dexter Dino stomp through the swamp. Dexter Dino chomp, chomp, chomp. He'll be here any second. Hmm, maybe he can't hear me. I know, I'll sing louder. Dexter Dino! Top, stop, stop, through the swamp. Dexter Dino, chop, chop, chop. Is he coming? Do you see him? I don't understand how he could forget me. I sang our song. Why isn't he coming back? Oh no, what if he left me here on purpose? Nope, this isn't happening to me. I'm Dexter T. Rexter, the toughest, strongest, coolest dinosaur there ever has been. Ever. Right. I mean, look at my tail. See how swishy it is? Swish, swish, swish. And I've got big teeth. Chop, chop, chop. And my claws are really sharp. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And my feet make this really cool sound. Listen. Stomp, stomp, stomp. What do you mean maybe he likes something more? More than me? Like another toy? Oh no, you don't think, no, anything but that. Cars and trucks and things that go? I can't compete with that. I can't honk and I can't beep. No siren, no flashing lights, no engine, no battery. No good, not good, no wheels. I can't even make cool revving sounds. Wait, what did you say? You think dinosaurs are often awesome, even better than trucks? Really? Me too. I know. Wait right here. Dexter's super genius escape plan. Lots of determination. Unhelpful spectator. Ultra sturdy climbing rope. Grrr. Again. Ah! Splash! What if I never get out of here? No more stomping, no more chomping, no more singing. I love singing. No more playtime, no more bath time, no more bedtime snuggles, no more Jack. He's really never, ever, ever coming back. Oh. Dexter, he's back. I knew it. And you were so worried. Dexter Dino races around the room. Dexter Dino, vroom, vroom, vroom. This is Rhonda Mort for Willard Library. And I just wanted to remind everybody that we're being super clean here at the library and you should be super clean at home. You know that you could never wash your hands enough. I want to show you the four stages of washing your hands with Elmo. The first stage that Elmo does is he runs his hands under running water. And then he uses soap and he washes the inside of his hands and the outside of his hands and in between his fingers. Number three, you rinse your hands under the running water. And number four, you dry your hands with a clean towel. We always wash our hands here at Willard, and I never seem to wash my hands less than at least six or seven times a day.
Hey, this is Miss Rhonda again, and we're giving away books here at Willard Library. We gave away trick-or-treat books, and now we're very thankful to give away Thanksgiving books. So come on down and gobble up some good books. Each book is a surprise, because it's wrapped specially just for you. Thanks. Bye.